everyone, Mr. Paul here. I am so excited that it's another Friday that we get to spend together making art. I missed you guys last week and I wanted to start off by saying how much I appreciated all of the beautiful artwork that you made for me while I was gone. Mr. Juan shared it with me. I saw it first thing Saturday morning and it really, really brightened my day. So thank you guys so much. You are awesome. And now you might have noticed that I'm in a different place than usual, huh? I am in a very cool art studio today because I am visiting a friend of mine who I can't wait to introduce you to. Come on over here. This is my friend, Jermaine Hatcher, and we are in her art store and art studio, Imagine Art Supplies. So hi, Jermaine. Hi, Mr. Paul. <laughs> Germ Hi, everybody. <laughs> Jermaine is the best. She is an awesome artist. She's going to show us some of her art and tell us about it. And we're going to see her store, too. Yeah. <laughs> it's really awesome to be friends with somebody that owns an art store. It's kind of like being friends with Santa Claus. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> she has everything and she knows everything about art. So before we get started, would you mind showing us around? I would love to show you around. Let's go. Let's go. Hey everybody, so this is Imagine Art Supplies. Yay! And my, I'm so excited. So one of the things that I have to tell you all is the story about how Imagine Art Supplies became Imagine Art Supplies. Tell us. So my next door neighbors are Vinyl Revolution, which is a record store, and The Bookmark, which is a music store. Okay. And my store is named Imagine. Yes. This is a John Lennon song. Oh, how <laughs> cool is that? And in the window, oh, she got down. Oh, but in the window. When we go inside, we're going to meet Jude. Oh, yay! <laughs> so, <laughs> I already got to meet Jude, but they are going to get to meet Jude for the first time. All right. So let's go in. Let's go imagine. <laughs> Look at all these art supplies. Isn't this like heaven? <laughs> I just want to move in here. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Show us around. What all have you got? So we've got paper products nice. so there's all kinds of papers there's drying papers awesome there's canvas paper to paint on there's uh sketch papers there's coloring books oh fun <laughs> there's coloring postcards oh <laughs> someone likes to color <laughs> someone likes to color and there's all kinds of paper oh my gosh like every For color imaginable everything you could possibly want to do and then How we get cool. to the fun stuff Yes. Well, that was fun already, but okay. So we've got <laughs> oh. colored pencils. Oh, nice. Look at those. And adult crayons, which are super fun. <laughs> and I bet kids could use them too, huh? They can. <laughs> actually, those actually work for um, face painting. Oh, how fun. You just remove them with soap and water. No okay. gold crayon. Okay. And there's all <laughs> kinds of markers. Nice. And as you can see, we've got the wall of color. Oh, look at all this cool all stuff. Now, some of this of is your artwork, right? Yes. Which ones so, are yours? The very first one is mine. Oh, Jermaine, that is beautiful. Thank you. And this was done by a friend of mine, Cambrell. Gorgeous. And then we have puzzles. I love doing puzzles. These I are like, them. these are really unique puzzles. That's like a 3D puzzle, right? It is. It's a 3D puzzle. She's got a few of them. Now, is that your elephant? That is. That's my Ganesh. Oh, I love that. That's beautiful. And since today is my um, anniversary of sorts being in the store, a friend of mine sent me these beautiful flowers. Wow. So now, here, walk over here by the flowers. How long? <laughs> That's a beautiful backdrop for you. What What is the anniversary? Tell me about it. So today is what's known as June Juneteenth in yes. American history. What does that mean? Can you tell so us? So Juneteenth is actually the day that the slaves were, the last group of slaves were freed after the Civil War. Uh -huh. um, and they were, everybody else was freed in March. Um, and there was one group in Texas that was freed on June 19th in 1865. And the reason that they waited was because they, because the people wanted one more harvest. Oh my gosh. Okay. And they finished the final harvest and they were freed on June 19th. Wow. So 
that's what Juneteenth is about. Okay, and then it's also an important day for you too. And for huh? me, it's a really important day because I found the spot for Imagine Art Supplies, and I signed the lease, which meant that I got to be in here with my kitties and myself and all my art stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and how many years have you been? And in it's here? been five years now. So today is Jermaine's five-year anniversary yes, here at is. Imagine Art Supplies. Happy anniversary! Thank you. What a, I'm so glad you're celebrating it with us. <laughs> yes, I'm so excited to be celebrating it with you. <laughs> this is cool. All right, well, let's okay. go on back. Now, your studio is in the back of My the store here. My studio is in the back. This is Jordana. Oh, hi, Jordana. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Extreme close-up. I know. She's like such the, she's such the girl. And I think Kathy disappeared on me. Oh, oh Kathy. Kathy. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Hi. Let's Kathy go meet Kathy. Me. Kathy also, oh, and Kathy has someone special on her lap, too, don't you? Who is this? This is Jude. Hi, Jude. Or, hey, Jude. That's it. That's it. <laughs> and I'm the other cat. <laughs> and, and she's the <laughs> other cat. How long have you been here at Imagine Art Supplies? Do you even know? Four years. Oh, for a while yeah. then, huh? And you're an artist too. Yes, what I kind am. of art do you do? Everything. Everything. That's <laughs> that's good because you can do everything here, right? And I love selling art supplies. So nice. Everybody can be an artist as soon as they walk in the store. You're an artist. That is awesome. I that's my philosophy too. Everyone's an artist. Can we look at a little more of your artwork in here well, before we get started? Show us okay. whatever you want to tell us about. So. These pieces are um, some paintings that I did after traveling. I think most of them are from Italy. The one in the center is from Amsterdam, though. That is beautiful. And that's, it's known as Dam Square. So it's right in the center of Amsterdam. Okay. And then this piece. <laughs> there's <laughs> know, too many like, to choose from. I know, there's a lot. <laughs> um, I had a friend who worked, uh, who was a banker and he worked all over the world and he took amazing photographs. Okay. So here's the really cool thing about it. <laughs> yes. You don't have to, you can take a photograph and you can edit it and you can paint it any way that you want to. Yeah. And that's what I did with a lot of the pieces back here. So you kind of put your own imagination into, into it, it too, it. Huh? Correct. And that's another one from a Trip that's somewhere. Italy. Yeah. That's actually from Lago di Como, so it's in northern Italy on the Swiss on the Swiss border. <laughs> I almost knocked over Jude's bowl there. Sorry, Jude. <laughs> Sorry, Jude. <laughs> <laughs> the beauty of live video, <laughs> semi live. All right, what else do you want to oh, see? These this? are well. These monkeys are actually what are known. I call them temple monkeys. They're not, um, but they were monkeys that I saw when I was in India. Those are so cool. And look at that frame, too. That is amazing. It all came together with the frame. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it sure did. You have so much art and so many art books, too. Lots of books. I love reading. Yes. That's music, reading, and art. That's what it's what all about. What a way to lead life. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine's going to teach us something, right? What are you going to show us? We're going to make stuffed Paper flowers. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I need glasses. Can't see it. Okay. <laughs> so what supplies are we going to use? So you're going to use glue. Okay. You're going to use scissors. Okay. You're going to need a little bit of paint. Got it. And you can use brown paper or a paper bag. Awesome. Now, if you're working at home and you don't have those things, use whatever you have. You can draw pictures of flowers. Do it your own way, so don't worry if you don't have the same stuff that we have. Right. You can always come to visit Jermaine and get it, though. <laughs> and I actually think I actually did pull a paper bag. Okay. Oh, nice. Just so that I can show you that you can actually use a paper bag to do it too. Oh, cool. Because it's basically the same it's thing. It's the same this. thing, exactly. So what you want to do is you take your paper bag. And you want to first take off the handles. Because this is the one time when handles breaking is a beautiful thing. <laughs> yes, normally not a good thing. And since we're doing a paper project, we're going to hold on to those because those may come in handy. She never wastes anything. And then we're going to cut the bag. See how I'm just like having her do all the work here, huh? Or just 
just gonna. We're actually just gonna. Actually, it'll work easier. Let me know way. if there's anything you would like me to do. You're doing great. No worries. You're actually gonna make one of these little suckers too. Oh, I'm just showing you. I better pay attention. <laughs> in that bag. <laughs> but, let me cut one more seam. Okay. Oh, you just have a big you piece of big, paper. You have a big piece of paper. Nice. So basically it's the same thing as this. Oh, exactly. Perfect. So you just cut off the bottom of the bag and then up one side. Right. Got it. So what I'm going to do is actually cut it so I can fold it in half. And then I'm gonna take this and we're gonna draw a flower on it. Yay! So you need a pencil. Okay. And I'm just gonna do a really simple flower. Do you have a favorite kind of flower? I like all kinds of flowers. I'm actually not much of a flower painter. Uh -huh. So I am learning how to paint flowers now. I was gonna say you've been she's been painting some flowers recently, but that's new for you. Huh? It's new for me, so I'm like teaching myself how to do it. That's cool. Jermaine and I hang out every Thursday evening with some of our other artist friends and we work on art projects together. So lately she's been working on her flowers. So I have my flower and mm -hmm. then I'm just gonna draw a little leaf. I think I need a leaf. <laughs> I think so. So it's going to look like that. Okay. Cool. And then take my scissors. I actually have big scissors. I'm going to use the big scissors for this one. It's getting serious. And I'm not going to cut, I'm going to just cut around everything. Oh, okay. So you're not really cutting up to the line. You're nope, cutting, I'm leaving cutting a space. around it. I'm leaving a space. Okay. And there's a couple of reasons for that. So exciting. So how long have you been making art, Jermaine? Have you been an artist your whole life? Um, so there's this story about oh. me when I was a kid. Okay. That like when I was about two, I was living in Georgia and way back when people only had four channels on TV, if you can believe it. What? <laughs> know, right? Wow. And those four channels were not on all day. They were uh -huh. only on for part of the day. And then they went off and they had this thing that um, was their end of the evening. They used to have what we call snow. That okay. Would come on. Where it was like just static, static right, right, on, right the on, screen? on the screen. <laughs> and when I was like two, one night my aunt got up and she found me in the living room with a pair of scissors and my Dr. Seuss books. Uh -huh. And I was cutting the cat out of all of my Dr. Seuss books. Oh my god! And she asked me what I was doing, and I said I didn't want the cat in the book. <laughs> <laughs> you just decided to cut the I cat out. I just decided that the cat should not be in the book. The cat should be roaming free. Uh huh. That's, and so that's cool. she told me, "That's lovely, honey. <laughs> but can you do it in the morning?" <laughs> And ever since then, I learned that I could get away with a lot of stuff if people thought I was an artist. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story. <laughs> Do art, you can get away with stuff. <laughs> I'm sure all of your parents really appreciate that tip. <laughs> so by cutting it like that, I actually have two, two. flowers. Oh. So I'm going to put one to the side. Okay. And then... Mr. Paul is going to draw him a flower. Oh, okay. And cut it out. On here? Yeah, I folded it in half for you so you'll get two also. Okay, thank you. And then we're going to get to the painting part. All right. Here it 
Do you have a favorite art supply of everything that you have here in your store? I don't know yet. I keep playing with stuff. <laughs> you're still experimenting. I'm then, still huh? experimenting. I think that's the cool thing about art is that you're always experimenting. You're never done. You never know everything. You're always learning something. It never gets boring that way, huh? It doesn't. Mr. Paul is a little slow with the scissors. Sorry. <laughs> You're not slow. It takes a minute to get those things cut out. Yes. And you guys at home, take your time. There's no rush. You don't have to keep up with us. You can just put us on pause if we get too fast for you. All right. It's almost there. One more petal. Okay. One flower, two, two flowers. flowers! Yay! <laughs> All right. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our glue. Okay. Let's have to to open take, it up. Yep, gotta open it up. It's a brand new one. This is a special day. You know, making art is pretty awesome, but making art with a friend is even more awesome. It's thank true, you thank for you. doing this with me today. So now, let me just get my, my glue going. Okay. Uh, <laughs> gotta get my glue going. <laughs> is it stuck? Let's hope not. I may have to poke it a whole lot. Okay. There it is. Go. There you go. Thank you. And we're just going to run some glue. Around just around the edge. edge. Right. But here's the thing. Got to leave one petal open because that's where we're going to stuff it from. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you said that or I would have gotten too excited and done the whole thing. So we're putting glue all around the edge except for one petal. Except for one petal. Checking hers to make sure I did it right. Okay, okay. I did. <laughs> and then you're going to take the second one and you're going to lay it on top. Okay. Oh, let's see. It's like a pillow almost. Yeah. And we're going to get it all stuck down. And since... Got glue going everywhere. <laughs> Making art can be a little messy. That's okay. <laughs> so I also have water, so here we go. Oh, Paper towels with water. She's prepared. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. So while we're waiting for our glue to dry, we can actually paint. Yay! <laughs> this is the best. <laughs> what colors do we have? We've got all kinds of colors. There's I yellow. And there's red. There's blues. You can pick your colors, Mr. Paul. Okay, anything I like want? Anything you want. Because that is the cool thing about art. There is no wrong answer. I agree. Oh, that's a pretty blue. So I'm going to use that and the yellow. And the yellow. Okay. And we need a green because we got leaves. Oh, okay. I didn't do leaves. I was lazy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that a good green That's for you? That's a good green. I like that green. Okay. Painting time. We got brushes. Oops. Brush. Thank you. And I know I have more brushes, so I'll be right back. Okay. I'm going to start painting. Yeah. Okay. 
So besides your flower paintings, what, what, what other pieces are you working on or have you been working on recently that you could tell us about? Well, recently I've been working on some portrait stuff because I have this idea that's making its way to the forefront of my mind. Okay. It hasn't quite um, germinated yet. Okay. But it's, it's working on some different stuff. So I am working on portraits. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be using the flowers in the portraits, oh. which is why I've been working so hard on the flowers. Oh, so I'm going to be incorporating the flowers so that they, um, so that you see them too. And I'm like mixing some colors here. Oh, she's getting fancy. I'm not getting fancy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that makes me want to get fancy too. <laughs> yeah. I'll just get it covered first and then then we'll be fancy. <laughs> and you can be as fancy or as plain as you like. That is true. Because this is art. <laughs> yes. Which, that's my favorite thing about art. Yeah. Because it's all about what you see and what you feel and what you want to share. And everybody is different. It's true. Now you do some art with young people. You you're involved with the Youth Arts, Arts Collective, Collective, right? Here in Monterey, what kinds of things do you guys do there? So the Youth Arts Collective is is really and truly a studio program mm -hmm. for the young people, which means that we don't necessarily tell them what to do. Yeah, we help them do what they want to do. Nice. And that so it's all kinds of things. It could be computer work. It could um, manga, it could be anything, painting, yep. anything. That's what we help them do. And whatever we they want. Whatever they want. And that's real similar to what we do at Palenque too. We have all kinds of different art forms like dance and music and they get to come and do whatever they're into. Yeah, because art is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. I bet you know a lot of artists in this area because you own this art store, don't you? I know quite a few artists. I've worked with a lot of artists. Artists are really neat people. Mm -hmm. We're all a little crazy, aren't we? <laughs> in a good way. <laughs> in the best way possible. <laughs> That's right. I love this red. It's one of my favorite colors. It's so it's beautiful. Bright. I think our flowers are going to look really nice together. I do too. <laughs> you can tell we're like serious because we're we're being quiet. We're <laughs> we're never quiet. That's true. <laughs> It's like it's getting intense over here. I don't do quiet. So well. <laughs> no, me either. <laughs> How are your flowers coming? Are you guys having fun working on your flowers at home? Be sure when you are finished to post pictures of them on social media so we can see your flowers. And I'll be sure to share them with Jermaine too so she can see. We'll have a whole garden of flowers out there. That makes me super excited. Yes. So Leaves. You hear a lot of thumping upstairs. They're working on our roof. Oh. And it's actually the roof next door. We're just hoping they don't fall off our roof. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do hope for that. <laughs> Roofs are important. They are. <laughs> A little touch up. So what are we stuffing in these? Well, here's what's really fun. I'm getting ahead of myself, but I'm excited. You're not because you can actually use the scrap paper that you saved, oh. or you can use paper towels. You can nice. use anything you want to. That's cool. That is what makes these super cool. 
That's awesome. I'm going to add a little white so that we can make a little flowery dealy. Got a little white. <laughs> She's a songwriter too. <laughs> well, since we have white, I'll do some little highlights. Just making it a little more fun. I like to make it a little fancy. If you have white paint, you can mix just a little bit of white with whatever color, and then that makes a real good little highlight. Yeah. Or whatever you want to do. I like playing with just mixing all kinds of colors together to see what, what happens. happens. Yes. What's your favorite color? You know, I think purple. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Do you have a favorite? I do. What's your favorite? Prussian blue. Oh, tell them what Prussian blue is. So Prussian blue is a really dark blue mm -hmm. that you can use for a lot of stuff. Like I use it for water, I use it for the sky. Sometimes mm -hmm. if I'm painting the ocean, I'll mix up a bunch of different colors and I wind up with Prussian blue. And I use it to make my own black. Oh, nice. Yeah, because when you make your own black, it's always cooler than uh, when you just buy like a black in a tube pump. Oh, yeah. It's way more fun. Kind of took over your white there. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I, I got I got excited. A little bit. I'm just doing some little <laughs> petal embellishments. Mr. Paul got a little carried away. <laughs> it happens sometimes. Hey, it's it's fun. You get to do all kinds of stuff. It's not like a <laughs> art is all about sharing. You're sharing ideas. You're sharing what you see. You're sharing how you feel. Yes. So, might and, as well share your paint. <laughs> and you never should feel bad if you look at somebody else's artwork and you think that it's better than yours or you think they're more talented or whatever it might be. You shouldn't compare yourself to other people, right? You're just different. It's yeah. Art is like people. It's all different. Yeah. It's all different, but it's all good. You've got your own unique point of view to share. That is gorgeous, Jermaine. Oh, I That's love it. A little flower. That is beautiful. Shall we show them? So this is what my flower looks like. You can <laughs> see, I still have an open section. Nice. Here's mine. Okay. Beautiful. Now, here's where it gets fun. I'm okay. thinking it's dry. Okay. And I'm going to take some of your scrapple because I don't have to work as hard. <laughs> Help yourself. And I'm going to. Grab it up, dump the paper. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna ball it up. And then stick it in. That is so exciting. Yeah. It's gonna make it like 3D. Yeah. Look at that! The fl that flower is a popping. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my brush. Now you want to make sure that it's dry. Yes. And I'm just gonna take my brush and see if I can Stop work that in down me. into one of those petals. Yeah, I'm not doing so great with stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we just need to cram some maybe more in there. Maybe we need to get like a little bit of something else a little bit sturdy. So are these scraps stuff. up for grabs? Those scraps are up for grabs, and there's actually this scrap too, which is a little bit easier to Oh, okay, it's a little. A bit thin. Okay, we'll do that And you can use paper towels. Oh, those would be easy. Those would be good, I bet. Mm-hmm. All right, come on, flower, open up. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> so scrunch up your papers or your paper towels or whatever. Stick it inside. Yep. <laughs> and it's just tearing and scrunching. Tearing and scrunching. This is kind of fun. <laughs> I don't want to make sure we don't get them overstuffed though. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but we do want to make it like a little bit. So 
and but he's got like a little bit of paper going into him, so all your things are open. You don't want any pedal to feel left out. Yeah. <laughs> equal opportunity scriptures here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get one maybe there. Get some in there. <laughs> Ooh, this is coming together. You look like you're doing surgery. I know. It's like, <laughs> Dr. Oh, Germain. I'm so serious about it. <laughs> <laughs> and one more little piece of the I'll be next. Same here. I used to do stuff like this when I was a kid. Did you? When you weren't cutting up your Dr. When Seuss book? I wasn't book. cutting up my Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> So you made flowers like this when you were a kid? Mm hmm That's so cool. I used to like doing stuff like this. We could like do all kinds of stuffity stuff, stuff, stuff. And you don't really need like a lot of fancy materials. It's just paper you bags sure don't. or whatever. It's paper bags and all kinds of stuff. Okay. Get my flowers pretty stuff. So once you get your flowers stuffed, <laughs> you're gonna take your glue. Okay, got it. I left it open. I didn't realize. Uh oh. Stick that in there. Yeah. Okay. And you're on the back side, okay. the flower petal on the back side, you're going to glue it. Close it off. And close it up. Okay. So, in the meantime, in order to get it to hold while you're waiting for your glue to dry, you can always use paper clips, which I have. Oh my so gosh. I'll be right back. That is a good trick for any kind of gluing. Never it is. Of. Now let me see. Oh, paper clips. <laughs> <laughs> so they even have their own jar. You're organized. <laughs> My paper clips are organized. I'm <laughs> so <laughs> not organized. <laughs> okay. So, so just clip just it closed. Clip huh? it closed. Just close oh, like so cool. two or three of them just to hold it in place. I never thought of that. Oh. <laughs> now, I know that I kept the um the handles, and the reason that I kept the handles is because you can actually take your handle, and if you choose to, I'm gonna fold it in half. See if I can do this. What kind of magic is this that's happening now? <laughs> Well, what is our flower missing? Stem? She thinks of everything. So you can actually take a little bit of glue. Oh. I'm going to glue this down, the center too, because I want it to stay together. It'll give me a heavier stem. And then we're going to hit up our paper clip friends again <laughs> because we want to hold that together. Okay. And then I put a little bit of glue on the back. I'm going to attach it to my flower. Paper clip? I am going to paper clip it. Yeah. This is where the paper clipping gets funky. <laughs> Got to figure out how to do it. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. Here's another thing that'll work too. While I'm waiting for it to dry, mm -hmm. I've got. She's got everything back here. It just might take a minute to find it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that tape. A That's little piece smart. of tape. That I'm gonna put over that and let it dry. That is awesome. And oh, now it has a stem. You have your flower with a stem. Oh, and here's mine without a stem. We'll just have our little, little flower, flower show. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> we can't wait to see your flowers, too. Thank you, guys, and thank you for coming in and seeing me. <laughs> yes, we, we're going to come back because this was a lot of fun. Awesome. <laughs> and if you want to come visit Jermaine, come, come check out her shop, Imagine Art Supplies. 
here in Pacific Grove, and it's been here for five, five years. Five years! As yeah. of today, congratulations! <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you! Thank you, guys, Thank and we you. will see you next week for another Art Day with Mr. Paul. Bye! Bye.